Hey everybody, Eric Hayden here in the garden. Was away for a couple days, um, just doing an assessment as we get back. For once, we finally had some rain. If you've been watching our videos the last couple months, we had a lot of rain back in May uh, with Tropical Storm Arthur. Um, then most of June and July was dry. In fact, we only had more than a half inch once. Had a couple days with a third of an inch of rain, but overall not a lot of rain. Um, and then we had a hurricane that hit just to our west, uh, Hurricane Isaias. Um, and from that we got um, just under two inches of rain and it was dry again. <clears throat> but while we were away, uh, we got some decent rains, uh, a couple days with just a tenth of an inch. Um, but we were here the past 24 hours and had some tremendous thunderstorms. And it's just amazing what a natural rain will do. And what I mean by that is we say that roses or a lot of plants in general need at least an inch of rain per week. Um, if you're in a uh, especially dry period or you're trying to grow some show roses, uh, then you probably want to water twice a week to achieve that if it doesn't rain. And usually the rough rule of thumb is about three or four gallons per bush. Um, so when it wasn't raining, uh, we were watering um, twice a week, either drip irrigation or hand watering. Uh, I've talked a lot of, about having a rain gauge to know exactly how much rain you had. Of course, we could hear the heavy rain, but um, when that inner tube fills up, uh, that's an inch of rain. And then when it's that high in the reservoir, we're probably talking two inches uh, in the last 24 hours. And I'll, I'll measure that here after I do this video. Uh, but the point is, anytime you get a natural rain, um, especially we had a lot of lightning last night, it just things see, uh, seems like things really pop and, and grow. Some of this growth was already happening. Um, see some of the newer growth. Um, some of these roses I'm going to have to work on staking up some. I wanted to see what they would naturally do. You can see Mr. Lincoln's leaning over quite a bit from the hurricane. Um, but as I mentioned, things start to grow back straight. Uh, these are some new breaks on the um, on the bush itself. So things are looking pretty good in the garden. I like seeing this new growth. Um, you especially like to see it down low on the bush. Um, those are where you can get some of those fatter canes if, if they're emanating lower in the bush where the cane is um, big to begin with. You can see a new basil break there um, or at least a low break. We call basils from the bud union usually uh, but that's pretty pretty low. I noticed it also with the climbing rose uh, Dublin Bay a um, pretty big break uh, and this usually coincides with some good rains and some uh, organic fertilization and this is a gnarly looking growth um, trying to twist around that rebar but you can see another one up top and another one down below so uh, some of that is that alfalfa most organics if you saw a video is about eight days ago we put that down most organics take a while to break down um, Alfalfa meal, or I use it as pellets, has tricontinol, it's a growth stimulant, and that really gets things going. Um, Got to do a little hand weeding. Um, with the rain, the weeds seem to pop up pretty quickly, and I still have got some leaf litter I've got to clean up. But one thing I wanted to show you, uh, in the past, when I put down organics, I was really cognizant of... Um, you know, kind of scratching them in, and, and that's never a bad thing. That, that's a good thing to do. Uh, I've gotten a little lazy, and some of it is it's just going to work its way in naturally eventually anyway. If I was doing a synthetic um, that didn't have slow-release uh, qualities, say straight urea, I would tend to scratch that in and incorporate into the soil. But you can see this um, alfalfa pellets is pretty much pulverized at this point. A lot of the good stuff is going down into the soil. I'm not worried about this washing out um, as it you can see some of the synthetic fertilizer in there got a nice layer of uh, mulch um, and then down into the the soil itself is just a nice layer of um, organic compost in there and that'll eventually percolate its way through the soil so yes I've incorporated and scratched it in, in the past um, but when you have this many roses just getting it out there um, prior to some forecasted rain is, is a good thing. And I'm not uh, as into the grass as I am the roses, but you can see the centipede is really taken off. I had some, um, you know, uh, dormant spots, um, even with the drip irrigation and the sprinkler system we have for the lawn, it was uh, missing some spots. And without, I think it was six straight weeks, we didn't have more than a third of an inch of rain. 
I was really showing up in terms of the grass looking uh, not the best. As far as the blooms go, um, some need to be deadheaded, um, but one that's still looking pretty good is Mr. Caleb. Um, so, I mean, that's an outstanding bloom right there. It's a nice red. I like to leave it on the bush. Uh, even these are open. It wouldn't be for exhibition shows per se, but they look good from your window. And then when they go from, you know, this stage looking really, really nice to this stage, you know, you're starting to get some botrytis or at least the petals uh, just dying uh, themselves and not looking quite as good in the garden. It's a good time to get rid of it. But that uh, Mr. Caleb is a very, very nice uh, red rose uh, for sure. One thing I haven't sprayed in about a month. Um, I wanted to relax the spraying, especially um, I haven't done a lot of insecticides this year to begin with. Had a lot of issues with spider mites, did a couple rounds um, rotating through Avid and Tetrasan. Um, so I didn't want to get any resistance issues. So I kind of let that be. The mites uh, seem to be prim pr primarily gone. And I'm looking for black spot. I don't see a ton. Um, Marilyn Monroe is one that tends to get it uh, quicker in my garden, at least recently. Louise Estes, I, I don't see any uh, of it. We got a little bit of it on uh, Claire Elise. You can certainly see it there. Um, and with our wet conditions, I don't want this to spread. Uh, spread. So I'll get back into my routine of uh, fungicide, usually a systemic um, and then um, a contact killer to kill some of the spores that have already germinated. So that's it from the garden. Just wanted to show you what it looks like after a nice rain, looking uh, really nice, of uh, course, with the good of the new growth. Um, and I'm happy that we put the organics down because they'll, they'll get going. Um, comes some weeds here and there, so we'll do some spot weeding um, here at, over the next couple days and, of course, some deadheading. One of the better growing bushes continues to be this double delight, maybe not as tall as some of the other ones. Um, Behind it, Dolly Parton, Mr. Lincoln, Alina, Yolande de Aragon. So not as tall, but still a very, very good growth habit. More wide than tall. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm going to enjoy the blue skies while we have it, with more rain expected this afternoon. It seems like here at the coast, we either get a lot or nothing. It's not too much in between. Have a good one.